Thank you for joining me on Legislative Update. I'm your State Representative, Norm Johnson. The legislature is now heading into its final days of the regular session and is scheduled to adjourn on Sunday, April the 28th. This is the point of the session when we are working to find agreement on our budgets. The state has three budgets. The operating budget pays for the general operations of the state. The capital budget is known as the construction budget because it appropriates money for construction and repair of public buildings and for other long-term investments such as land acquisitions and transfers. And then there's the transportation budget which not only appropriates funding for our roads, bridges, and ferries, but also pays for the operations of the Washington State Patrol and the State Department of Licensing. As of this time, the House has approved an operating budget and a transportation budget. We have yet to consider a capital budget. The operating budget proposal we voted on in the House on April the 12th was brought forward by House Democrats. I voted no, and here is why. We are expecting an additional $2 billion in the next budget cycle, and that's without raising taxes. But the House Democrat operating budget proposes to raise taxes by $1.3 billion. Those tax increases would affect trucking, janitorial services, insurance, high-tech research and development, and prescription drugs and the travel industry. And I'm also concerned that this proposal would eliminate the sales tax exemption for Oregon residents who shop in Washington. That would especially hit our small border communities in the gorge, such as Stevenson, White Salmon, Benjamin, and Goldendale. This plan would also completely drain the state's rainy day account. That's money set aside for emergencies. In the summer, eastern Washington has been known to have its share of wildfires. What happens if we go beyond the costs of fire suppression efforts? While this plan was passed the House, it must now go to a conference committee to work out a compromise budget that is agreeable to a majority of both the House and the Senate. I'm hopeful we will see a budget that is more like the one the Senate approved two weeks ago. That budget, while not perfect, would not rely on tax increases, and it's a bipartisan plan that would spend $1.5 billion more on K-12 education and $300 billion more on higher education. I'm also hopeful House Republicans will have influence on this budget plan because our proposal also would put more money into education and it has fewer cuts to social services, plus it contains no tax increases. I'm optimistic this can all still be worked out in time for the legislature to adjourn on April the 28th. This will be my final legislative update of this session. We've had a very successful year. One of the first bills to be signed into law was my legislation creating a welcome home Vietnam Veterans Day on March 30th of every year. Giving that recognition to our vet Vietnam veterans, one of the highlights of this session and of my career in public service. I want to thank each of you who have contract contacted my office this session. When the legislature adjourns, I return to Yakima. I will be reopening my district office, and now you can still contact me in Olympia. You'll see the contact information on your screen. Thank you again for joining me on Legislative Update. I'm State Representative Norm Johnson.